These farmers are rushing to stop this generation's old farm from being destroyed and prevent hundreds of farmers from being evicted. Welcome to Sumi. We came in because the farmers are having problems. Because of you guys. Their ancestors were encouraged to farm by British colonialists, but they were never given land titles. Now, state governments are selling their farmlands to private companies for development. About 102 acres of farmland in Pusing was given free to a businessman from KL. It makes you wonder why they're doing that. This issue has been done across so many parts of Perak. My biggest concern is that it's going to be something that benefits those who have the contracts. Okay, no problem, no problem. Oh, yeah. Another SB. Actually, we have a people inside. You will want to find the land and you gave me all the political funds. Usually, it's uh, not less than a million. They will 100% approve the land for you. But the farmers are not leaving without a fight. With the farmers racing against time to save their farms, will the country's leaders listen? In the 1920s, the British colonial government encouraged farmers to start cultivating land in Perak. The growing population needed more food, and there were plenty of abandoned mining ponds to irrigate the land. But even though the families continued farming for generations, their land applications were constantly rejected. Instead, the state government granted thousands of acres of those lands to private developers and government-linked companies, including the land where the Mok family has been farming. Ah,依家去我出世嗰個老地方啊。我出世嗰度啊。你帶我做工啊,做更巴咪更包咯,冇嘢嘅嘛,都揾到錢,揾到食嘅嘛。做到可以心冇?心啦,哦,唔好做
Tapi ada pula orang asing dari luar yang dapat grant di sini. Siapa yang meluluskan tu? Takkan menteri besar tak tahu. Takkan pejabat tanah tak tahu. Kita boleh runding, boleh bincang. Dia minta, kita akan bayar. Tinggal lagi, ni kerajaan tak minta apa pun, tak tolong apa pun. Activist and politician Dr. Michael Jayakumar Devaraj has campaigned for the farmers for nearly two decades. The state authority has got almost complete rights to give grants to whoever they want, to give titles to the land to whoever they want. There's too much power in the hands of the state authority in the person of the Mantri Basar who can use it as he wishes. About 102 acres of farmland in Pusing next to Batu Gaja was given to a businessman from KL. And according to what the papers he filed, it was given free to him. He has sold this land to uh, another two businessmen from KL. They want to monetize it and use the money for other projects, for development of the economy of Perak or help the poor in Perak. I wouldn't mind, but here, it is a case where uh, state property, state assets is being sold at bargain prices to private developers. State governments are not legally required to reveal details when it alienates public land. This means farmlands can be converted for private developers with minimal public accountability, leaving hundreds of farmers facing forceful eviction. Hello. Lagi sekali. Dua kali seminggu. Huh? <laughs> Dr. Kumar is pushing the federal government to use eminent domain laws to acquire the land from the developers and lease it to the farmers to cover the cost. Hello. The area that's under most pressure now is uh, Chantak Kinti. The land office has come up with a 4 to 5 notice and that's going to be due on uh, Wednesday. And if you don't move out by Wednesday, then the Bible to be evicted, possibly, fined, a familiar, or jail. It's still quite a big burden, no sweat. If they are prepared to go and talk to the developer and get some money and move out, and you say, when you stay in fight, you have rights, you should move out, food production is important, you get your lawyer, fight. But then if you don't do enough, and they get evicted on Wednesday, that means we have, in a way, failed them. The box are among the farmers who woke up to find eviction notices around the land. The letters give them 14 days to not only leave the land, but also to destroy all their property and produce. He was Many other farmers, like Chong, have already had their farms destroyed right before their eyes. Many 
佢買單就係講你唔足，我就足你。變到我哋都係出嚟先去配 I D B 布買單咯，就咁咯，嚟博咯。我係冇諗到係嚟博都會落格埋啫。夜晚放得嚟，佢都一直咁破壞我哋種植嘅嘢啊！佢推落去我哋感受真係喊都冇眼淚嗰種啊，因為我哋心血啊。According to the farmers, once the excavators break their pipes and flatten the soil, the damage is practically irreversible. It will cost too much time and money to replace the equipment and cultivate the soil again. Ah, this is All this is happening while Malaysia faces a potentially disastrous food security crisis. Dr. Firdaus Sulaiman conducted a study on Malaysia's food producing land for Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim. And it led to an urgent ultimatum. One of the ultimatum that was presented to the Prime Minister is that we have to ensure that at least 10% of the whole land area in Peninsular Malaysia is dedicated for food production. If this 10% figure is not achieved, then we are going to face a lot of issues. Statistics have shown that land area dedicated for food production has been decreasing over the years. We are about 8 to 9%. In reality, it's quite tough to get that extra 1% to 2%. We can be in real trouble if we are not careful because things that are happening on a larger scale like global warming is something that is difficult for us as a country to control. For things that are under our control, such as uh, allocating land for agriculture, that should be on us. In nearby Pankor Island, another fruit producing community faces a similar conflict. A historic fishing community could lose their jetties after its land was sold to a state government-linked company. The company plans to artificially extend the shore and build a one-stop waterfront tourist hotspot. But not everyone's on board with the plan. This is the all area going to be gone soon. Hopefully no la. We all hopefully also like, like that. But I don't know how long la. Every time we have to renew the TOL, a year before it ended, expired, we have to settle down everything first. But this time we went, they said cannot renew it. That's why we are all curious, everyone curious. We here provide fish protein to the citizen of Malaysia. From my great grandfather's generation till now, we all do it. And if now our place got taken and we cannot provide any more fish, what you think about the fish price? I think everyone is going to lose their job. And they cannot find other jobs because they are all uncles and mostly all age 40 and 50 above. That's why we also had it from last year. I'm looking for YB for everyone, helping us, everyone. I don't hope that my generation is the last generation for it. Uh, so I always come back, always come back. Yeah. Activist Tarma Pillai has family in Pangkor and he's back on the island to help save the jetty. It's somehow so productive, yet it's so rooted in history. You know, we are just destroying it all and trying to replace it with shopping malls, and duty-free shops, when you already have like a ton of duty-free shops, when this is something that's unique about Panko and it's, it's a unique thing about Malaysian history, my biggest concern is that it's going to be something that benefits those who have the contracts to do the sand mining, those who have the contracts to build the malls. Long term, I don't see this project really working out. Tharma is an activist and co-founder of Undi 18, best known for its campaign to lower the voting age in Malaysia. He and his team are preparing for a town hall to discuss the waterfront project. But they are running out of time. Locals only have a week left to officially voice their objections. Hello? Yes? Suddenly, Tharma receives a phone call. The who? It's the special branch of the police. No problem, no problem. Thanks so much. Eh? Okay. So what was it about? Another SB. They want to know what's happening tomorrow, uh, who's organizing it, it means you're a person of interest, right? Uh, it means that you're doing something that they consider to be subversive, something to be uh, to be looked out for. They keep emphasizing, we don't want to catch up, we don't want to catch up, we don't do anything. But I'm, I'm sure they're quite panicked lah for, for, for some, for to just to oversee. But at least uh, the good thing is that we have confirmed two attendants. 
Uh, two separate SBs have called me back to back and they're both coming. I, I think it'll be interesting. Lah. We'll see how it is tomorrow. Jun, come, let's go. On the day of the town hall, two special branch officers in plain clothes show up, along with four armed police officers. In the town hall, opinion on the waterfront project is divided. There really has been minimal stakeholder engagement. Different communities have been told different things. They've been promised or given different narratives. We've seen a, a few cases where land is sold to a private developer for either extremely cheap or for prices that we don't know because a lot of times these deals are opaque and it's literally impossible to get information on how much was this land even sold to these private property developers. There is a back deal that often happens where those who are being rewarded with this land provide donations to the party coffers and the, the harmful part is that state governments are willing to give long-term leases to wealthy elite property developers but when it comes to farming communities, fishing communities, for some reason the, the same rules don't apply. Back in Kuala Lumpur, we posed as real estate investors to see if we could acquire state land. Hello. Hi, I'm looking for agricultural land around Perak. I don't know how this is done normally, but do any agents approach the land office to apply for land? Actually, we have a people inside. If you want to apply the land, a lot of money we have to fork out. Definitely, the political funds you cannot be ignored. You must pay. Okay. Much last usually is uh, not less than a million. Uh. They will hundred percent approve the land to you, lah. Uh. Then I will confirm get the land, uh, mm. and they will approve the zoning all that. Okay. They will approve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Usually the MP, MP people, lah. Uh. The mem uh. member of parliament, lah. Uh. Uh, member of parliament, lah. Uh. Oh. Because not not everybody can, you know, simply get to them do something for you, lah. Uh. Because if they doesn't know you, right. even though. Money also, they won't, they won't bother. Other agents were cautious about such arrangements, but another two said that they do happen. I yeah. don't have this kind of lubang. Or. Normally, that one has to have some lubang that only can get one, is it? Yeah, you have to find somebody. Some other people might need to explain it your case. So, normally, yeah, the, you have to pay someone like a runner in the land office. Sure, right? of course. Right, Malaysia. The agent who promised to help with the political funds later stopped returning our calls. Damn. The Perak Land Office Director insists that such allegations are unfounded. Apakah pada ini saya tak tak nak komen lah sebabnya ini adalah luar daripada kawan saya sebenarnya tak timbul sebegitu tidak ada urusan sesuatu. Permohonan itu akhirnya diputuskan oleh kerajaan B, oleh EXCO, oleh EXCO. Element of uh, transparent itu ada dan itulah platform yang kita harapkan mereka yang berada di dalam kedudukan itulah yang sebenarnya perlu mencermin dan menunjukkan contoh dan transparent berkenaan. Despite the police attention in Pangkor, Tarma is pushing ahead with another town hall to rally the farmers in Perak. Essentially, you want to be able to support them, help them to know that what's their legal rights, and also most importantly is to chart a way forward. What's the strategy in terms of advocacy for them to achieve success in maintaining their land rights and also for them to build food security in Perak? There is some concerns that uh, some of the challenges we faced in Pangkor might replicate again over here. Surveillance by the police. If that happens, you know, we just have to push back and we just have to, we just have to be brave. This is Tan Tian Chi president of one of the largest farmers associations in the area, and he is slated to speak. Dan has been leading the farmers' resistance, organizing human chains to stop evictions.
apa kita mau ialah kerajaan angkat balik tanah itu. Semua 10 kawasan tanah yang kita lagi pakai sudah kasih kepada Fat Chin Siong. Itu salah kerana tak baik untuk negara. Tak baik untuk anak cucu kita, tak ada makanan. Tapi Anwar pun tak boleh sendiri buat tau. Jika kita semua diam, itu Menteri Besar kata, you kenapa sibuk? Orang semua tak buat apa, you semua sibuk masuk sini. So, ini kita kena bawa kempen. Inilah mana dia penting. Satu kempen, satu negara, orang tahu, jika you terus buat macam ini, rakyat susah. Jadi, kalau tak tahu, saya akan berbual dengan saya. ก็ยังไม่ได้ก็ยังไม่ได้ก็ยังไม่ได้ก็ยังไม่ได้ก็ยังไม่ได้ก็ยังไม่ได้ก็ยังไม่ได้ก็ยังไม่ได้ก็
mana itu Parlimen, okey? Terima kasih bagi lagu. Cara penyerahan memorandum sebelum ini Semua tak ada masalah Kita datang di sini secara aman damai Memang kita ada track record Bahawa kita ingin membawa suara rakyat Bukannya nak membuat kekacauan Bila adanya suara rakyat Ada petani-petani yang datang untuk membawa suara rakyat Kepada parlimen Saya berharap bahawa pihak berkuasa terutamanya polis Membantu kita untuk membuat cara yang terbaik Bukannya menyusahkan perkara ini Saya rasa sikit terkejut Sebab ramai polis di sini kita bukan pelupa Tak bawa pisau Cangka pun tak bawa <laughs> Kelapa mahu tension sangat Kita semua mari untuk Menjelah memorandum saja. The memorandum contained two broad solutions One, the federal government should acquire the farmlands And lease it back to the farmers And two, Malaysia needs new laws requiring state governments To be transparent in all their land deals the memorandum was received by representatives of the Prime Minister and Agriculture and Food Security Minister, Mat Sabu. I think these are the two most important stakeholders. This is still not over. Yeah, so we'll see lah. Yeah. Okay, go. Boleh yeah. baca nombor Some of the activists would later be called for police questioning. Our mission is Tambun. Our government is Anwar Ibrahim. His name is the name of the Prime Minister. <笑>不用紧他有代表了就好了就是希望周政府或者是联邦政府再一次考虑把我们安顿在原地跟住这是我们最大的心愿至少我们会制造一点粮食给马来西亚人吃应该不会放弃就是要老王得到老王<笑> Despite the PM's office receiving the memorandum, six farmers receive eviction notices just weeks later. They are given seven days to leave or face further action. They are among hundreds of other generational farmers on a plot of land in Kantan Baru, which has been earmarked since 2009 for the Silver Valley Technology Park. A 100 million ringgit investment from a Chinese company was recently announced for a mineral processing facility. The Perak chief minister said it marked the beginning of development initiatives in the SVTP. On October 24, PKNP pushes ahead with the eviction. They arrive with excavators and a strong police presence. Tan and Dr. Kumar mobilize over 40 farmers and activists to block the excavators. In the ensuing chaos, an officer from the land office shoves an activist. She suffered injuries to her head and arm and broke her teeth. She would later require hospital treatment. Outside the blockade, journalists and lawyers are barred from entering the land. Huh? 
saya dengar empat orang kena arrest. Saya kena masuk. Okay, saya bukan okay. nak buat rusuan dengan awak. Awak tak buat apa-apa. Saya tak buat apa-apa. Saya tak buat apa-apa. Saya tak buat apa-apa. Tapi kami punya arahan adalah apa tadi? After a tense, hours-long standoff, the police arrest Dr. Kumar, two activists, and one of the farmers. Dr. Kumar, the activists, and the farmer were released later that night. Ha? Negara kita ni tak cukup makan Tapi sekarang kita ha? nampak itu ha? Hanya nak clear tanah untuk housing Clear tanah untuk buat kilang ha? Bukan saja ini kawasan saja Satu kali dekat Kantan dengan tanah hitam Kuala Kuang ha? Lapan kawasan ha? Dengan lebih kurang 2,000 petani ha? Sedang diancam Fortunately for the six farmers The Ipoh High Court granted a stay order on the eviction A statement from the Chief Minister's office says The eviction was carried out according to the law and that the farmers have been offered replacement land to continue farming. Sebagian benda mereka saya faham itu bukan kehendak petani. Itu kehendak orang-orang uh, tertentu yang nak menghidupkan politik dia. Yeah. Dia cuba untuk menjadikan ini sebagai saluran bagi menunjukkan dia hero kepada petani-petani. Petani-petani tahu kita tahu. Kebahagiaan daripada telah pun setuju. Daripada tak dapat apa-apa baik terima tawaran kita kita bagi tanah kepada dia. Dia bayar premium, dia bayar tol Jadi dia dapat hasil untuk berpuluh-puluh tahun lamanya pajakan itu, why not? Cuma dia tertipu dan terpedaya dengan mainan sekumpulan orang politik yang partinya sudah tenggelam. Dia nak hidupkan balik parti dia dengan cara nak jadi hero kepada kumpulan petani. The Chief Minister's Office declined a request for comment because the issue involved an ongoing court case. In an earlier interview, the State Agriculture Department's director also said land had been offered to the farmers. Her department created six permanent food producing areas known as TKPM, and another is on the way. Uh, the squatters actually, uh, many of them have been uh, offered to change to another area, but they refused to go to the new area. Uh, that's why issue ni berlarutan. Uh, but but saya tak boleh. You need to ask them. Untuk rancangan guna tanah uh, pertanian Negeri Perak, telah banyak um, kawasan baru yang telah dibuka. Kita ada advice dan membantu mereka untuk memohon tanah-tanah ini. Daripada mereka terus menanam di kawasan yang tidak selamat dan hak milik orang, I know how they feel. Because my late father also is a very poor farmer. Dalam masa yang sama, Ada peraturan negeri, dasar negeri, um, saya perlu uh, aku dan saya perlu terima dan follow. Hmm. The farmers, however, insist they have applied for leases and are willing to pay the premiums. And they say most of the non-TKPM replacement land offered are unsuitable for vegetable farming. <laughs> Hai,唔好啊,你都應該咁樣嘅節目嚟嘅。都是,而家今今時今日嘅你睇,個水一啲都冇嚟叫佢掹崩上去點樣種嘢咧。種唔到。呢咁我話你啊,根都唔行
Just minutes ago, this muddy patch was a vegetable farm. Okay, <laughs> Do <laughs> 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 <laughs>
，已經推難，已經推難咗咯。頭先有人打嚟，隔離個又係推嘅。嗰六個人，佢唔係嗰六個人入場嘅，都都都已經喐緊。我哋都冇辦法。係。除非又好似近左，除非又個律師都叫我哋唔好唔好。如果係冇五個十人，冇冇一句。我諗呢個係我哋最後一個收息，呢個應該係。除非有成績出現嘅啫。